Hi folks, I'm Johnny Mitchell. I'm executive chef and pit master of Johnny Mitchell Smokehouse, and today we're preparing a Memphis style spare rib. So uh, we've got a pork spare ribs. You can usually get them in any market and it comes three to a pack. So what we do is we're gonna trim these down into a St. Louis cut. And the way we do that, easiest way is just flip them over the back side. We're gonna trim up any loose items here. A little flap on the back. You wanna trim that down just before you get to the bone. It will shrink some and that way you won't expose your bone. You'll find your longest bone here and come back and just start cutting them down. Piece of meat off the end here. Now I've got them squared up. Also, we pull the membranes. Makes a taste of your rib, it gets rubbed right on the bone. Take a butter knife and just start pulling it and scraping until the membrane starts coming up. What you need is a good dry paper towel. This helps you grip. So once you get that going, just pull that slab, just pull it off like that. If you miss a piece, just come back and grab it. A rack's gonna have about 13 bones. So we're gonna pull down about seven bones. We're gonna cut these in half just so we can get more volume on our grill. Grill domes will hold up these couple of slabs very easily. If we're cooking more than that. We like to cut them down. Use our wonderful grill dome rib rack right there. We're going to take our all-purpose rub. Lightly put some on the back and push it into the meat. Push it into the bone right there. Get all sides. And on the top side, we're going to put a little bit heavier rub. Rub it in. Okay. Also on your rib tips and everything, they're great for stock. You can put them on the grill. They're great to eat, but they're not exactly what people are used to when it comes to the ribs. So those are going to be nice and delicious. We're going to let these sit with this dry rub on here for about 30 minutes to an hour minimum. It can go a little longer, but you don't want it to go much longer than that because the rub starts drying out the meat. And then we're going to take and put them on our rib racks. All right, folks, we're out here at our grill dome. We're about to put our ribs on. As you can see, we have put a lower rack in. We put a heat deflector. A heat deflector is exactly what it says. It deflects that heat up and around so you don't have direct heat coming up and burning your ribs. So now we're going to take our rib rack and set in here. So we're going to set it center. We're going to take each rack and put in here. Doesn't matter if they lean a little bit. This rack's going to keep them apart. It's going to allow the heat to come straight up and cook these ribs beautifully. You can get a lot more meat on here because of the rack and also it's going to help it from burning. So now we're set. We're going to close it up and we're going to have some ribs here in just a little while. All right, folks, our ribs have cooked at three hours at 225 degrees. Now we're going to pull them off and wrap them put a little apple juice on them and we're going to put them back on for another two hours. This is low and slow and this process right here is going to make it so tender and moist they're going to be delicious. All right folks now we've got our ribs they've been steaming in this apple juice for two hours and now 
we're going to take them back out of the foil. See how moist those are? Beautiful. So now we're getting these back on here. We're doing the 321. We've cooked them for three hours at 225. We wrap them for two hours with a little bit of apple juice, give a tad of sweetness, but also add that moisture to it for two hours. And now we're going to put them back out and let that reset, let that nice rub reset on there for one hour. It's going to be delicious, beautiful ribs. And this is how you do it on your grill dome. <laughs>